The idea is to protect yourself and others. Uh, citizens intervening have, have stopped crime because they were armed and they were able to, to intervene and, and save a victim or help a victim. So um, I, it, it's worked. If Senate Bill 308 becomes a law, people with concealed weapon permits would be able to bring a gun into a restaurant or bar in South Carolina if there's no sign against it. Ron Labrie says he's for the bill and says it should be a choice to protect yourself. I just think in today's day and age, I think people should be able to protect themselves no matter what. I mean, there's just too many people out here that don't have any regard for other people. But this is a controversial bill. David Beaumont, sitting across the bar from Labrie, says he doesn't agree with the bill and sees no need for guns to be near alcohol. I don't think, honestly, that people should go into a bar carrying a loaded weapon. So, but the bill says that if you have a gun, you can't be drinking alcohol. Then why should you go in there, the bar if you're not going to go in to drink? And why should you carry a gun in there? If Governor Nikki Haley signs the bill into law, restaurants can put a sign up bearing any weapons. And if someone goes into a prohibited bar, their permit would be revoked for five years. Plus, they'd face up to two years in prison and a $2,000 fine. That same fine would also be applied to those who are carrying and drinking alcohol in an establishment that allows guns. People that are criminals, they aren't going to bother getting a concealed weapons permit. They're just going to carry their gun into the bar anyway. And they're going to drink as much as they want and do what they're going to do. So you're not really, you're not talking about the, the law breakers. You're talking about the law abiders and giving them the, the ability to defend themselves and defend others.